everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. Today I am so excited because for one, it is the 1st of February. I absolutely love the month of February. It's my birthday, my mum's birthday, it's Valentine's Day. It's all about love and celebrations. I just love February so much. So now that we've said goodbye to the year of January, we can welcome February with open arms and look forward to new opportunities and look forward to a bit of sunshine as well. It's really lovely and sunny here today, although it is extremely windy. So if you do hear anything, any banging around or any wind chimes, it's just the wind outside. It is really windy, um, which is why my hair's all over the place, actually. I had it semi-okay, and I went outside just to let everybody in the studio know that I was going to be filming and to um, not make any loud noises or anything or come waltzing in. Um, and yeah, I ended up like this. So we'll, we'll just work with what we've got. So today it's all about the February Look Fantastic Beauty Box. So as you might not know, actually, this is the new Look Beauty Box, which was um, brought out ready for January this year. So it looks slightly different to the other boxes. It's still got the um, Look Fantastic Beauty Box uh, hashtag on here. Um, but now this is what I believe fully recyclable. Let, I'll, I'll put something down in the description box so you can see, um, but I'm pretty sure that's what I read, so I think that is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get into the box. As you might have guessed, this is a February box, so of course it's geared a bit around Valentine's. So this is the Amour edition. So I was really excited to receive this. I mean, I just love the month of February. I love anything to do with Valentine's Day, even though I keep saying it, I'm single. But I just love Valentine's. I love the idea of love, just a hopeless romantic. Um, let me just tell you what the sneak peek is for March. If you don't want to know, just skip forward about 20 seconds. The sneak peek is the Madara Time Wrinkle Time Miracle Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream, which is worth £35, and that is what it looks like. So you can expect that in next month's box. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's inside the box this month. That is, um, it tells you here on the magazine every single month, it tells you about the products and what you can expect from the magazine as well. This is always full of great little features. So there are often interviews in here with the owners of the brands that are featured in the box or little hints and tips to help you get the most out of your products and to teach you about um, like makeup techniques or beauty things that might help your routine. For this month, it says, Valentine's Day is just around the corner and this month's beauty box is here to celebrate all things love. From romance to friendships to that all important self-love, this February let our Amour edition help you to celebrate love in all forms. Our February beauty box contains six products hand-picked by the experts to make you feel adored, appreciated and all round amazing. We're also bringing you an exclusive interview with Espa's marketing manager and our top tips for day to night makeup that'll last all night long. Happy Valentine's Day from Beauty Box HQ. Happy Valentine's Day to you at HQ as well. So I'm gonna get straight into the box and tell you my most favorite product that I've seen so far, which is this. It's a lip mask. Now I already have a lip mask from Rodeal and I didn't want to use it because I was really scared about, you know, not having one anymore. I didn't want to use it and then be left without one. So I'm really happy to see this. So if you don't know what these are, it's basically like a mask, but it's for your lips rather than for your face. So it's in the shape of lips and you just place it over and leave it on for a while. So this one says to um, gently remove the film from both sides of the gel mask and apply to dry and chapped lips. Leave for 15 to 20 minutes while I do my thing and then remove and pat lips to absorb the excess serum. So this has got, um, this is a hydrogel lip mask which will leave you with a smooth, plump and kissable pout. So I'm really looking forward to using this. Oh, it's also collagen infused. So that should be a really nice one to use. Definitely good for getting your pout Valentine's ready. The next item in the box is from Philorga and I was really happy to see this. This is the Miso mask and it's a smoothing radiance mask. If you watch my vlogs, um, the latest one that went up with the crazy makeup, 
this is what I was wearing in the vlog. I'll link it up here. Is it up here or up here? I'll link it anyway so you can go and take a look. But this is the one that I was using. It smells divine and it makes your skin feel amazing. It's great for those days where you feel like your skin's looking a bit lacklustre and you need to give it a little bit of life. I can't actually remember much about the ingredients side of it, so I'm just going to read you what's on this card and tell you a little bit. My dad's watching me through the window. Oh, he's coming in. Just a minute, guys. Sorry, guys, I forgot what I was saying then. Um, I think I was telling you about the ingredients of the mask. Uh, anyway, I'm going to just tell you what it says here. It's a bit easier. This anti-wrinkle brightening face mask from Philorgo will enhance your skin's natural radiance and target signs of aging and tiredness from the first application. Infused with NCTF, which is an anti-aging complex, using complex, sorry, used in non-surgical procedures, the delicate cream will leave skin plumper, brighter, and more even in tone. Apply a generous layer over the neck and face and leave for 15 to 30 minutes and remove using a damp cloth. So I can advocate for that. I really, really like this. I think it makes my skin look much nicer and much more radiant. So I'm really excited to have another one of these when I run out of my other one. We've also got a beautiful product here from Naobe. It's a really, really nice brand. I tend to like all of the products that I've had from them in the past. So this is the Gentle Facial Toner and it's also anti-aging and it says it has raspberry, marshmallow and marigold extracts. Doesn't that sound delicious? They don't actually smell of that much. It's quite a gentle scent but it does smell a bit like a spa scent which I quite like because it's almost as if you are bringing your spa to your home without actually having to leave the house. I like the lids that they put on these. I think the packaging is really nice. Just looks really nice and fresh and earthy. Um, let me tell you what this one says. Uh, formulated with nourishing raspberry, altea and calendula extracts to bring amazing four-in-one benefits to the skin. Removing leftover traces of makeup, toning, soothing and hydrating your complexion. Use daily for smoother, more refined skin. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I don't typically use a toner in my routine, um, but if I get them in beauty boxes, I will 100% use them. So I'm really pleased to get this just realised I've got black stuff on my nails. I think it's eyeliner. Ooh, I'll get that off later. Uh, next in the box, ooh, let's go for this one first. So here is the next product in the box. This is from Espa, and this is a detoxifying body oil. Clarifying and uplifting to cleanse and soften. This is in a little glass bottle, and I love the sound. A bit of ASMR. <laughs> Does anybody watch ASMR videos? I do. I find them so relaxing. A lot of people are like, oh, that's really weird. But I find it so relaxing. I love it. It's the same as if, like, if you sat in a waiting room somewhere and there's somebody, like, across the way and they're, like, tapping their foot and everybody else finds that really annoying. If they do it, constant. I find that really relaxing. I can find myself nodding off to it. Just me? <laughs> Let me know what you reckon in the comments. Uh, so this is designed to be used daily to firm skin and soothe muscles. This Espa body oil is formulated with a blend of aromatic oils such as juniper berry and cypress to delight your senses. So let's just try it a little bit on the back of my hand to see what it's like. Ooh, that smells so zingy and refreshing. So I'm just going to pop some here. That feels nice. It feels like quite um, like a nourishing oil, but not a like, not a really oily oil, if that makes sense. Not the kind of oil that you're going to put on and feel really sticky and like irritated with. God, that is so zing. I don't know why I'm showing you like you can see it. That is so zingy and uplifting. Mmm, I really like that. That's nice when you've got like cold, dark mornings like it was this morning and you need to give yourself a little boost so you can get ready for work or ready for whatever else you're doing in your day just to give you that little uplift of energy. Very nice, I like that. Uh, another item that comes in the box this month is this cute little lipstick from Illamasqua. Now, if you don't know, I used to work at Illamasqua. That was my first like counter job as a makeup artist and my only counter job actually. Um, I worked at Illamasqua for a fair while and did a heck of a lot of training with them and I love their products. So I was happy to see this. I particularly do like their lipsticks. 
So this is the colour. Uh, this is the antimatter lipstick in the colour Bang. It says, enhance your pout in just one swipe with this mini Illamasqua antimatter lip product. Semi matte and long wearing with a creamy texture that will soften your lips and add intense pigment all at once. I'm just going to pop some on the back of my hand so I can show you what it's like. That actually looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Let me try and just get it to focus on there rather than on my head. <laughs> what do you guys think to that colour? I think that's really nice. I've already got something on my lips at the minute, so maybe I should just put a little bit over the top. Let me just grab a little mirror out of this straw, and I'll just put some over the top, but just bear in mind this won't be like the true colour. But it'll give you a little idea. I think that's pretty. What do you guys think? Let me try and come a little bit closer. There you go. I think that's quite pretty, no? Smell like a rosy colour. Yes, that's what it is. It's like a like a brownie rosy colour. Really like that actually. Quite impressed. I will try that one on its own at some point. Um, I'll probably pop like a picture on my Insta stories or something like that. So check in the description box um, if you'd like to find me on Instagram and I'll probably do something on there with this lipstick. Uh, the last thing in the box is uh, something that I am such a fussy consumer about when it comes to these. Um, it's this complexion sponge. Uh, this is from the brand Brushworks and it's the HD Wonder Complexion Sponge and it says it's a versatile blending sponge with a 3-in-1 design and it's high quality and latex free. So the reason why I'm really fussy about these is that I don't like the ones that feel very hard on the skin. So this one actually says on the back of the pack that you can use it dry to get maximum coverage but it is like quite a hard sponge. Um, obviously you normally put these under the tap and rinse them and make them a bit softer. In fact, let's go do that together now. Let's go see. I'll take you into the bathroom and show you what this is like. Um, let me just shut this door because this window is open and it might be a bit noisy. So let me take you into the bathroom and we'll give it a rinse and see. So, ooh, it's very bright in here. Let me just give this a rinse. So I'm just rinsing it under the tap and just squeezing it out a little bit. Okay, it's getting softer, which is good. I'd liken the shape of this to um, the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, but it's harder than that. It's quite a bit harder than it. So I'm not so sure how I feel about it. So that is the size of it now. And oh, I don't know, that does feel better. Obviously, I can't test it properly because I've already got foundation on today. Um, yeah, it feels okay, actually. Hi. Right, I'll take you back. Um, yeah, it actually feels okay. I don't know. I can't, I can't say yet for definite because I need to try it on my face when I've actually not got anything uh, on there already. But that actually feels quite soft now, so I don't, I don't mind that so much. Ugh. Yeah, jury's out on that one. I'll test it out, guys, and then I'll let you know what I think at a later date. Um, so that actually does bring us to the end of the Look Fantastic Beauty Box unboxing for February. Um, if you would like to subscribe to the box or you'd just like to learn more about it, I always put the information in the description box below, so please click that and have a look through. If I've got any offers, any discount codes, then I will also put them in there so you can take advantage of them. I am affiliated with Look Fantastic, so the links in my description box to Look Fantastic will be affiliate links. All affiliate links are really clearly marked in the description box so you won't be confused about which ones are which. Obviously you don't have to use my links if you don't want to but I really appreciate it when you do. I do earn a small commission if you do decide to use my affiliate link. So yeah this is sent to me, it's gifted but I just love covering it every month because I do genuinely really like the box. I think I've gotten it now for about three years. Is it three years or is it actually more? And Glossy Box, I've had for even longer. I pay for my Glossy Boxes. I absolutely love Glossy Box too. Um, but my favourite is definitely Look Fantastic. Anyway, guys.
guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also please subscribe if you are new because I would love to see you on the next video. I'm not too sure what the next video will be just yet, whether it will be a vlog or perhaps it might be the Glossy Box unboxing for February. So stay tuned and I will see you very soon. Bye!